Mitchell Trubisky was phenomenal yesterday, and it mainly came because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense sucks ass. We don't have to put this lightly. <laughs> this team is doo-doo. Like, you heard that terrible Kanye song? Whoop, scoopity poop. Poop, 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 scoop, poop, poopity, poop, poop, scoop, poop, poop, scoop, poop, poop, poop. That's Tampa Bay's defense. What about Fitzmagic? What happened? So Fitzmagic wasn't great, okay? Do I think the loss is on him? Uh, no, he didn't play defense. <laughs> he didn't, didn't play defense. Uh, he also didn't I, play offensive line. I believe we have, <laughs> yeah, right. I believe we have the uh, sound from Dirk Cutter. Tampa Bay Buccaneers have co ha, uh, head coach. I believe this is A9. He had a strong take on what should happen to his coaching staff after this game. Based on that game today, we couldn't make enough changes. We should fire every person that was on that field today, starting with me. That was that was horrific. All right, so bye. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the studio is like, "Whoa, I can't believe he said that." <laughs> I can. <laughs> like, like we we've learned this from Rex Ryan. We've learned it from coaches previously, where it's like, "It's on me. Everything's on me." And it's like, even Rex Ryan was like, "Damn, dude, that was even a little too far from my from yeah, my Yeah, because senses. it's BS when they say that. Oh, it's totally on me. It's my fault. You know, we got to do a better job as coaches. We failed our team. Whenever they say that stuff, I'm like, man, if if I if you work for me. And you tell me you don't know what the hell you're doing, uh -huh. I'm gonna be like, well, should we should reassess the situation since you have no idea what you're doing. But actually, right. maybe this works. If I'm the owner in the ownership group for uh, Tampa Bay, yes. and, and my head coach says, we should start by firing me. It's the Glazer family who also owns Manchester United, by the way. I'm gonna say, you know what, I like this guy. Because that's real. That's at least being real. Like, you know what, I suck so much, yeah. I should be fired. Yeah. Now, I won't fire you, but I like that. If you say, yeah, we just failed our players and <laughs> coaches, we did, we got to do better. I'm going to go, well, why aren't you doing better? Right. That's when I'm more annoyed. Why are you talking about how horrible you are, but then you're not willing to take the full responsibility for it? When the Raiders were gifted a game yesterday, yeah, I said it, Edwin. <laughs> when they were gifted a game yesterday, Baker Mayfield afterwards was like, it's on me. Like, he didn't have a great game. It wasn't on him. It was on two horrendous calls by NFL officiating, which, by the way, let's be real about this. What the hell is a fumble anymore? Can anyone solve that riddle? Let me know. Comment section or via YouTube Super Chat. I thought you were going to go further, and we are going to talk about the Browns later. And we'll talk about the Browns later. Mitchell Trubisky yesterday, 19 of 26, 354 yards, six touchdowns. Six touchdowns. Dan Bernstein went on a tweet, per Stat Maven Mike Garrigan, Mitchell Trubisky, and there he was, incredible. Uh, first quarterback in NFL history to have 350 plus passing yards, 50 plus rushing yards, and six touchdowns in a game. How about the most passing touchdowns in a game? Single game record? That's who he was chasing. God, Nick Foles is on that list. Man, Sid Luckman, man. Sid Luckman. I think about him all the time. Now, Tariq Cohen was also fantastic. Let's be real about this. But then again, what bear wasn't yesterday? Allen Robinson was sensational. The defense was sensational. Absolutely. We'll talk about Khalil Mack later. The NFC North standings as it stands right now, the Bears are ahead of the Packers. Man, the Vikings look absolutely doo-doo. <laughs> and, he, and here's the reason. The Vikings got killed at home to Buffalo. And you know who killed Buffalo what yesterday? What happened to Buffalo yesterday? <laughs> the Green Bay Packers. It was similar to what we're going to talk about after this, which was like, oh, hey, uh, Miami. Yeah, I don't know how you guys do it on South Beach, but uh, here, here in our division, you know, we're the Patriots. We rule this effing division. Who the hell do you think you are? So Mitchell Trubisky was great, okay? I credit the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense for making us talk about how great Mitchell Trubisky is because he still has a ways to go. Absolutely. The one great pass was Allen Robinson back left corner of the end zone in the first half. Mm -hmm. After that... Tariq Cohen going through the middle, fine. One of those passes, technically pass, touchdown passes, was a small shovel pass as Taylor Gabriel was going across the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that counted as a it touchdown a, pass. It was, it was a toss. Yeah, it was a toss. Um, but so there's another thing, and I, I'm sure you guys will be tired of me saying this, but Mitchell Trubisky, Trubisky was put in a position to win yesterday with the type of quarterback he is. As you talked about, the 50-plus rushing yards, he can move. You put him in certain kind of positions where he can make these kinds of plays. Sure, he made that nice pass, but again, it's these quick movement plays. So the defense is looking for him to maybe run. Or then the, uh, there's, uh, the, like you said, the shovel pass, which is another touchdown yeah, pass. He really had five yep. and a handoff. Um, Again, that's that's the kind of thing that gets the defense on their heels, and the Tampa defense wasn't ready for it. Totally. Put your your 
your star player or your leader of your team in a position to win, he'll look good. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. And so we'll see how teams adjust to Trubisky and Trubisky. I cannot say well, this man's name. they got to buy, and then they uh, face the pissed-off Miami Dolphins. <laughs> so that's actually going to be a really good yeah. team. Do you guys want full TYT episodes? Yeah! So download YouTube TV and get a seven-day free week trial.